In this lesson, we're going to go over Big Idea 3, Standard 1, Names and Formulas of Ternary Compounds. So, Bacchinary meant that the compound had two ions. Ternary, we're going to have three. And what you're going to need is this page from your resource packet. It says Common Polyatomic Ions at the top. So, first, let's talk about polyatomic. And to get to that first, I'm going to explain what monatomic means. If something is monatomic, like mono meaning one, this is an ion formed from only one atom. So what we did in the last lecture, we were doing monatomic. Sodium is monatomic. It is just made from sodium. Chlorine, monatomic. It is just made from chlorine. Today we're going to be using polyatomic ions. That prefix poly means many. Polyatomic ions are a charged group of two or more atoms bonded together. A charged group of two or more atoms bonded together. An example of a polyatomic ion is sulfate. This would be one sulfur and four oxygens all bonded together. Together as a unit, it has a charge of negative two. Another example would be sulfate. This would be one nitrogen and three oxygens together as a unit. It has a charge of negative one. Let's start with how to write formulas using polyatomic ions. A lot of these steps are going to be similar to the steps from binary compounds. So the cation is written first, followed by the anion. We still need to determine the charge of each ion. We still need to determine the ratio of ions needed to make a neutral compound. Ionic compounds are always neutral, so we should be able to add up the sum of all the cations and all the anions, and it should equal a net charge of zero. The only thing that is going to be new for polyatomic ions. If you need more than one polyatomic ion, It must go in parentheses. First one. Magnesium plus nitrate. So 
So we're going to determine the charge of all of our ions. Magnesium is a group 2 metal. Its charge is going to be plus 2. Nitrate is a polyatomic ion. So the way your reference sheet is set up is they are in alphabetical order according to charge. So I'm going to go down to the ends. I'm going to look for nitrate. Nitrate is NO3 1 minus. The cation comes first, followed by the anion. Determine the ratio of ions needed to make a neutral compound. Magnesium is plus 2, but nitrate is only minus 1. So how many nitrates do I need to cancel out that charge? Well, I'm going to need two of them. Here is why we need parentheses. If you don't put parentheses, it looks like I have 32 oxygens. So what I'm going to do is put the entire polyatomic ion in parentheses, and the number that I need goes on the outside of the parentheses. So this indicates that I need two nitrates. Let's try another one. Sodium and sulfate. Sodium is in group 1, it's always going to form a charge of positive 1. Sulfate is the polyatomic ion SO42 minus. Cation comes first, anion comes second. You, when you're writing the polyatomic ion, you want to include everything except the charge. So I'm going to write SO4. Same thing for nitrate. Write everything except for the charge, NO3. Now let's think about the ratio needed to make a neutral compound. Sulfate is minus 2, so how many sodiums would I need to cancel that out? Well, I would need two of them. Let's do aluminum bonding with hydroxide. Aluminum is a group 3 metal. Its charge is going to be 3 plus. Hydroxide is OH minus 1. Cation comes first, anion comes second. Aluminum has a charge of plus 3, so I need a negative 3 to cancel it out. Hydroxide is only 1, so I would need 3 of them. Anytime I need more than one polyatomic ion, it goes in parentheses. The number of ions that I need go outside the parentheses. Last one for formulas, and then we'll go to naming. So far, all of the polyatomic ions have been negatively charged. There is one cation that you should be familiar with, and it is ammonium. Ammonium is NH4 1 plus. Chlorine is just regular old chlorine that we find on the periodic table. Its charge would be minus 1. Plus 1, minus 1, it already equals 0. My compound is already neutral. So my formula would be NH4Cl. Notice that all four of these compounds are ternary, meaning three. Magnesium, nitrogen, oxygen, three elements. Sodium, sulfur, oxygen, three elements. Aluminum, oxygen, hydrogen, 
three elements. Nitrogen, hydrogen, chlorine. Three elements. Last thing for today is we are going to talk about how to name these. And again, we're going to see a lot of the same rules we saw from binary. Cation is written first, followed by the anion. Never change the name of the cation. You also never change the name of a polyatomic ion. The only time we will change a name is if the anion is monatomic meaning one atom. And we already know how to do that. We are going to drop the ending and add I, D, All right, these ones actually should be a little easier to name because only one of them you actually need to add any letters. First one, Na is sodium. Cation comes first, never change the name of the cation. NO3 is nitrate. It's polyatomic. Never change the name of a polyatomic ion you are going to copy it exactly as you see it on the periodic table. This is sodium nitrate. NH4 is ammonium. The cation comes first. Never change the name of the cation. It's also polyatomic. Never change the name of the polyatomic ion. So NH4 is ammonium. Bromine is monatomic. It's only one atom. We're going to follow the rules we learned during our binary lesson. For bromine, I'm going to drop the ending and I'm going to add I, D, E. Bromine becomes bromide. Third example, C, A is calcium. We would want to look up C, O, 3 on our polyatomic ion reference sheet. CO3 is carbonate. Never change the name of the polyatomic ion. Don't add any letters, don't change any letters, copy it letter for letter as we find it on our reference sheet. Last one, Ea is barium. Cation comes first, never change the name of the cation. PO4 is phosphate. Never change the name of a polyatomic ion. So this would be barium phosphate. Last thing that I want to point out is you need to be very careful 
with your spelling. Nitrate versus nitrite. They only differ by one letter and they also differ by one oxygen. Nitrate is NO3, nitrite is NO2. Same thing with sulfate and sulfite. They differ by one letter, they differ by one oxygen. Another example, phosphate versus phosphite. One is PO4, the other is PO3. So be extra careful when you are writing your names. Be mindful of your spelling and be mindful of the number of oxygens in that polyatomic ion.